When working with models which will have a normal map, there is a few essential things we need to do to ensure a proper visualization of the surface across multiple renderers. So we will talk about triangulation, the cage model, and normals, tangents, and bitangents. The reason we triangulate our models is because when you see normal maps, the values stored in the normal maps are baked with the normal and tangent direction of the vertices in mind. And based on the triangulation of the geometry, these tangents tend to change. This is called a tangent space basis, which is essentially a matrix that saves a pointing direction of three vectors through which the surface is shaded. Triangulating the model is a way of locking the tangents that form the vertices, and thus the internal triangulation, which usually is not visualized for us to make it easier to work with the model at the time, or tangent angles will not be different depending on which renderer we are using. This is essential, as the creation of a complete game asset is split between different softwares. We often will not use our modeling software to bake, sculpt, or paint textures, even though they can, because there are better dedicated softwares for these tasks. So we need to make sure the model is visualized through the same principles and that it is fed the same values so it shades the model in the same way. This is why we triangulate our models before baking textures and performing texture painting. By triangulating, there is less chance of a change in the tangent space basis between two rendering environments. There may still be problems through the data saved or data retrieved from the file when it comes to the tangent basis, but we will come back to that when we talk about exporting towards the end of the video. In Blender, the easiest way of dealing with triangles is with the triangulate modifier. You should not apply it, just make sure that it's on the model before you export it. And in the export settings, make sure apply modifiers is checked. It will then triangulate the model for you, so you don't need to do it yourself every time you want to export it. But if you're ever going to use a cage model, you need to make sure to apply the modifier to the cage model before you start moving vertices around. Else the internal triangulation will be different between the target model and the cage. Especially with models with cylindrical shapes, you'll be likely to depend on using cage models to get a good normal map bake. Cage models are made by duplicating the low poly model and again, even though we do not need to apply the triangulation for the low poly, we need to do this for the cage immediately. So after the cage model is created, apply the triangulation for all the objects that form the cage model. The cage model needs to have the surface of all its triangles above the surface of the high poly model. The easiest way to do this fast is to use the push tool inside Blender or a similar tool in whichever program you are using. Most programs has some form of this tool. Simply select all the faces in edit mode, activate the push tool by either pressing Alt and S, or find it in the tool column. And then drag it outwards until the high poly model is covered by the cage faces. Now all we need to do is go over the cylinders and move the flat face as close to the high poly surface as possible. Doing this prevents wavy contours from forming on certain angles of the normal map. So now it's time to export the various models and we are back to the topic of the tangent space. These can be referenced and generated differently. Some have the tangents explicitly defined within the file for each vertex and other emit the bitangent and instead calculates it as a cross product of the existing two. The more widely adopted standard of this technique is called MCT or MIC tangent space. So whenever you see this setting, you will know that the bitangent is not read from the file you import. So in the export setting in Blender, there is a tangent space button that can be checked or unchecked whether the rendering program you will eventually use expects a tangent space with all tangents defined or not. 
If all three tangents are defined in the file, it will use them when shading surface. But if the third is not defined in the file, you import to Blender for instance, it will then do a cross product calculation to, it to um, generate one. Many 3D programs are capable of both, including Painter, Unity and Unreal. So in most cases, you will simply have to choose one. Let's go a bit further into detail here, as this can be pretty confusing. So let's make sure we get this right. Let's say we are using a modeling software like Blender, which uses MIG-T itself. And we want to make a game asset to be used in Unity, which also uses MIG-T. And let's say we are using Painter, Substance Painter, to texture and bake the model. And Painter also uses MIG-T. But it can also import the tangents and bitangents from the file also as well. But since Blender, Painter and Unity all use MIG-T, there is no, no real reason to export the tangents and bitangents out of Blender because Painter and Unity will generate them in the exact same manner anyways. You can still export that out with the tangents. It doesn't really matter in this case. They will be just explicitly defined within the file in the exact same way. However, let's say you're using a modeling software like Maya or 3ds Max, which does not use MIG-T. In this case, it is crucial that you export the tangents and bitangents in the file, because Painter needs to import these tangents in the order, or in order to bake to those specific tangents. And inside Unity, the tangents need to be imported from the file. If the tangents are different between the modeling software and the rendering software or game engine, the normal map will not appear correctly. This is because the tangents within your modeling software is different from those in the renderer. So, exporting with the tangents within the file and making sure that the renderer is capable of importing those tangents from the file ensures that the normal, is, um, the normal map is applied to the same tangent angles. So it's that simple really. Just make sure that the programs or that all your programs and software down your production pipeline works with the same tangents and bitangents angles.